Now, David Cameron has insisted that the referendum on changing the UK voting system will not break the coalition. The PM, who opposes replacing the current first-past-the-post system with the alternative vote, said the losing side would just have to pick themselves up and get on with governing. His comments came after the former Lib Dem leader Paddy Ashdown accused the Chancellor George Osborne, an opponent of AV, of throwing mud to frighten the public out of change. Here's Katie Razzle. Do you want a more representative voting system? <laughs> More power to your voty -woty. Sometimes the most simple messages work best. This baby co-opted into the Yes campaign to persuade voty voters that changing the voting system is important. Have you really thought this through? The campaign ads on both sides aiming to light a fire with the electorate, with a combination of moral outrage, claim and counterclaim. And of course, with AV, even if they don't vote for me, I'll probably still get in. I just want you to listen to me. The alternative vote is only a small change to make a whacking great big difference to us. So far, the public hasn't been electrified. Many politicians are, though. Today came another accusation of mudslinging levelled at the No campaign. Paddy Ashdown attacked, amongst others, George Osborne, who claimed last week the Electoral Reform Society, which has given money to the Yes camp, stood to gain financially from a Yes vote through a subsidiary company that makes electronic voting machines. That subsidiary denies that and says it's pursuing legal action. Mr Osborne actually pretty directly impugned a British company, not the Electoral Reform Society, a standalone country company that is respected and used throughout the world. We're focusing attention on it because it's an absolute scandal. The, the, this, the, the one side in the referendum is printing ballot papers for the referendum and stands to benefit from a switch. As I said, if this was a general election, people would be outraged by that. Both sides' funders have been controversial. No is backed by a mixture of big Tory donors, including Peter Cruddus and Lord Sainsbury, and unions like the GMB. The Yes campaign argue the No side is 99% Tory-backed, not cross-party, as No claims. On the Yes side, donors include the Joseph Rowntree Reform Trust and that controversial donation from the Electoral Reform Society. The referendum was part of the coalition deal. The Prime Minister campaigning no to his deputies, yes. But David Cameron said today the coalition will survive whatever the result. I don't know what that result is going to be, but whatever it is, the coalition government, I believe, will go on being a strong and effective uh, government. Don't underestimate, though, the impact of defeat on either leader. If first past the post stays, grassroots Lib Dems will become more disaffected, questioning why Nick Clegg took them into coalition at all. If the voting system changes, Conservatives will feel their leader sold them down the river by agreeing to a referendum in the first place. So the stakes are high, but the message isn't getting through to voters. This is the first chance ever that we, the voters, have been given the chance to say what the rules should be for electing MPs to Parliament. And MPs have important jobs. They make decisions every day about jobs and homes and where our kids go to school. So it does matter what the voting rules are and who gets into Parliament. It will be a splendid and decisive yes. The last UK-wide referendum was in 1975. The jumpers more jazzy, the vote yes to the EEC. The latest poll today put the no campaign six points ahead. The vote's on May the 5th.